Everybody can miter baseboard, but not all can cope. I'm going to show you how I roll. First, I'm going to start with a 45 degree bevel, and that's going to give you the profile outline that you need for the cope. And I like to go ahead and back bevel my saw about 15 degrees and cut that long face. That way you get a nice, smooth, straight cut. Then go ahead and grab the time-tested coping saw. Yes, sir. I don't want no jigsaw. I don't want no flapper wheel with a grinder. Nope. I want the coping saw. This is what I learned on, and this is what I'm going to use right here. Just get it nice and close. Then I'm going to finish it off with the Dremel tool and a nice little carbide bit, man. This makes an extra smooth-ass cut for that profile. I'm telling you. And when you're finishing off that profile, make sure you got a little back cut on that as well. Now to cut the length, you just butt your baseboard, measure to the casing, measure to your square edge, and boom, bam, got it, coach. 